But it's I got the short end of the stick. I think I didn't play enough matches, which was the problem. Yeah, you have to play a lot and of I, matches. I yeah. played Jaime, I played low, I played K rule, I played a lot of really good players, so I, my losses were, you know, consecutive with my wins. Or yeah, interchanging you, rather, you so get, are we getting into this? Is this it? Lucky. I don't This is it, man. I guess. I have no idea why Low is playing. Maybe uh, maybe this is a friendlies match. I don't think it's a friendlies match. I it guess could be hand warmers, what yeah. but I don't know. Okay. That doesn't look like hand <laughs> I don't know why Low is playing Fox. It is a it is a very I talked to him a lot for Fox. Though, yeah, I mean it, it, it's understandable, but I talked to him before this tournament and there was no There was no indication there was no, that he would there go was Fox. No no mention of Fox. Yeah. Sure. He, he first said he was going to play all Pika, and then I convinced him to go Falcon in the Pika matchup. Because mm. his Falcon is very good. Then he beat me. In it, so. <laughs> I guess I was right. Uh, and Falcon doesn't have a lot of options getting back. Fox. Yeah, this is interesting. One thing that Fox has going for him is just those lasers. He can just rack up damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just have bees him. Super Fearless. smart behind me there. Yeah, the, the lasers are very annoying for Falcon because mm -hmm. Falcon's so tall, you know? Like, if you're Kirby, you can just kind of hang out under the lasers. Yep. Jump oh, the, he forgot to see cancel. Well, I don't think he forgot. Or he, he meant to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> forgot to see cancel. He probably, he probably knows about it. <laughs> someone should tell him. Yo, there's, if you press yeah, Z. Yeah, someone should tell him. Yeah, maybe we can get dogs over here. Hi, man. Come on. Where's dogs? Get some coaching he's, in. He's probably going to coach him. Ooh. You kind of have to like get your dogs, who the dogs pick for each <laughs> for each match, because he's gonna coach someone. Ooh. Oh, he jumps oh, up! No. My mistake. I don't Is think he can it? make it back. That's wow, that's horrible. He's trying to fade forward on the laser, but he he jumped off and ended up off stage, so the fade forward put him under Dreamland. But then he just immediately takes the stock on the respawn. Life of a fox player. So many options, but so many options to go wrong too. Yeah, you know? it's just that's a great description. It's just ooh. look at this. It's stocking. Link of we call eye. that the detan special here in Colorado. The down the tilt. The fair to shine off stage. Ooh, really good recovery. And what is this accidental down did? B. What was he even trying Ooh. to do? Downer maybe. Oh, that was the second time. I I know he's not doing that on purpose. Obviously, fell off stage twice. Yeah, this just don't go off stage. That was a pretty, as Fox. <laughs> pretty sloppy match on sure. both sides. Yeah, it really, it really was. Uh, you know, it's very late. These guys have probably each played like 25 plus sets between. They're both in vanilla is it, and is this, this is legit. They're going into it right now, man. This is. Yeah. It's just so fast. I just. Okay. Still having. So, <laughs> I love that they completely changed the matchup. Yeah. So we go from Fox Falcon to now we have. Uh, Did they agree to that, or is that a? Well, he, I well, think he well, so said he was switching, and so he goes, "Okay, I'm gonna switch." Before. Well, so, so the winner has to pick character first. Right. So, so I made one with um, Falcon. So and he I just switched probably to. He Kirby. switched. I, I guess he didn't want to play any more uh, Fox. Sure. Fox Falcon. It was very close. Jaime has not dropped a game, or dropped a set, I believe, this entire tournament, right? Well, he's in losers, so. I haven't slept. <laughs> this is losers. Finals. This is losers. This is losers oh finals. Gosh. Oh yeah, so, Brody beat him. Brody so beat him. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think he has no, lost right. that yet. And me over here with three hours of sleep. My my mind's not working today, folks. How many viewers do we have right now? That is a good question. Let's see. Let's see. So low. You know, I he mentioned to me this isn't his favorite matchup with Pika. Seventy-one viewers. It wow. is favorite, but it's not. You know, maybe not nice. massively so. I may. Showing off his mastery of a lot of different characters. Mm -hmm. He's just an all-around excellent player yeah. with the whole cast. It's yeah, he's yeah, one he's of the OGs, you know. Great 12-character battle player. Mm -hmm. Great Mario. I've seen uh, he played Mario in tournament uh, at SmashCon. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice angle. Gets kind of the maximum distance out of that single zip. He could choose that kill percent. He's got to be careful. Yeah, this is like the hardest. You know, I mean, it's true in every matchup, but it's especially true in this matchup where Kirby has so many ways to force trades with his massive hitboxes, mm -hmm. and a lot of Pikachu's moves are not very effective at zero percent. Sure. So it, it's really hard when you're at high percent and Kirby's at low. Once you build up no some percent, <laughs> yeah. Once you build up some percent, it becomes, becomes dramatically easier. 
So I'm sure Lowe's really happy. Even if he dies now, he's got this, you know, 40, 60 Oh, for sure. Nice. Ooh, goes through an early up E. He had more jumps. Yeah, he goes he did. He had, like, at least two more jumps. You're right. Yeah, he went for a tricky one. You know, he thought if he went high like that, Lowe wouldn't be ready. But Lowe Lo was indeed ready for that. Lowe snips it out. Yeah. Well, interesting kind of change of characters, and it looks like Lowe's dominating this game. So far, so good for him. He yeah, obviously it's... knows this matchup very well. He's playing this to the T. Yeah, Being I mean, very it... patient, not overextending. You know, it's it's always tough for to switch to a totally different matchup. Oh, yeah. I mean, Fox. Uh... Whoa, what wow, what was that angle? That was Can't a do that really on good angle. He definitely did not expect him to just directly. Yeah. Just zipped, and again, he goes with that single He's zip. so fast at it. Yeah. Usually, you know, as Pika, you kind of wait. Oh, he tried to get the right grab. Position. Oh. I think the single zip might have been on purpose there. It's kind really? of mixed up, but he, uh, maybe he didn't, didn't quite make it. I mean, it's hard to say. Yeah. You can see Lowe's patience here. He's not mm. just going to run it. And no, he, he is going great patient. And that's kind of how you play this matchup. I, I know I played this all the time. It's just kind of a patience game. Once Kirby's in the air, you can do something because, you know, laterally, Pika does move faster yeah. than Kirby in the air. So you have a lot of options once Pika's in the air. Grounded Kirby is kind of a difficult one, you know, because you're used to a kind of an upper campy Kirby in this matchup. But I may kind of choosing to go low, well, play makes, the neutral game on the ground. It makes sense when Pika's at a really low percent like this mm -hmm. because the up tilt converted to so much. It's but he's, it's he's worth low it, yeah. on jumps here. That back air, wow. that back air that Low just hit was so hard to hit against the Kirby. He's so small. It's this nice is actually target. really impressive. I mean, Jaime. Yeah, I didn't think this game would. A game quite look down like this. and two stocks down. Well, this is crazy. Jaime, Jaime's up a game. Or sorry, yeah. So the reason this is, you know, Jaime's counter pick, or Low's counter pick, right? Low's counter pick, yeah. Yeah, this is Low's counter pick. Do you think Jaime plays this matchup a lot? Him, him going against Pikachu. As Kirby, as Kirby, probably, probably not, not, not as too much, much right? because. Yeah. This isn't a matchup he's ever going to pick, you know, on his counter pick. Sure, yeah. This is something he just picked because he's trying to like kind of reduce into the damage, it, yeah. make it so that you know the counter pick for for Kirby isn't going to be that bad. So if Lo wins this, he's probably going to I go think, Falcon. I think it's hard to say. I think I may will likely go Falcon. Yeah. If Lo wins this, we might see Lo peak against Jaime and Falcon. Okay, yeah. I yeah. don't think Lo and Lo does take it. Really convincing last yeah, time. Really convincing game there. So this is where it gets tricky for Lo. Yeah. You know. I think he yeah, he opted to stay. You saw him tell him right away he was gonna stay right after the game was finished. Getting yeah. right into a game three. Yeah, so this is gonna really. Uh, this is gonna be a test. <laughs> test the metal of Lo's peak, or you know. Because this is this is really the Jaime that we all love and see so far in this tournament. One of the this hardest Falcon's thing. Falcon's been on point today. Yeah, so patient. Mm -hmm. I played him. Second game I played was Jaime, and it was it was a fun game. But he's definitely patient. Yeah, he knows the matchup like the back of his hand. Yeah, really. great combos. You know. Ooh, I like that. Definitely Fair ready though, punishable. Yeah, so good tech to grab, but you can't really follow up there. So it's not so bad to just keep shielding there to speak of. Run off wow. there, that's cool. Up air, we'll, we'll connect. No! Oh my goodness. Was that Very true or was that just DI that saved him? I'm not sure. I it think it was slightly really above close. being true. I think he overextended slightly. Ooh, Lo tries to jump over him, gets up air. Not the worst angle, but. Ooh. Wow, the V. The V shaped recovery gets him back. So one of the hardest things, and you're seeing this counter pick war. One of the toughest things is to figure out which character you want to play when it's your opponent's counter pick. Mm, yes, right? that's like your core character, the character where you're not afraid to play their worst matchups. So we saw Jaime play Kirby, and he didn't seem that comfortable in the the worst matchup that Kirby has against Pikachu. Now the other way we're gonna see, you know, low what he's doing when Jaime gets the chance to counter pick. He's playing Pika, and so far it's working out really well. Yeah, it's working out great. And this really, even though he's a stock ahead, this could be anyone's game. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, I mean, stocks wither away so fast. This could be an America's combo right here. And it's not going to kill, I don't think. It's going to be close. Yeah. Ooh, good single. Yeah, so that was that single zip, you know, I thought he was trying uh -huh. for it before. 
Lowe's DI, maybe not the best, but he kind of compensates by having these fantastic up Bs to recover. Looking tense right here. Wow, Two that grab was so close. Oh, oh, he was just a little too low there. Yeah, he wanted like a really shallow angle. Those are tough. No, those are tough. Okay, this should be the double grab. No, and he gets the jump to ledge. The jump to ledge is so important for Falcon's recovery. Mm -hmm. Really good patience right there by low. Yeah, finds the nair on the uh, come on stage. There. Interesting. Is this gonna be going to edge? No, 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 no. Not a lot of DI from low, but Ooh. he's low enough for Senta to Tried to catch up with the up smash, didn't quite make it. And I'm be honest. We're gonna stop, right? No, no, this no, one's this best, of best of five because we're, okay. now we're in finals. We're in finals. Okay. So we're gonna see a few more counter picks. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he just runs off. Can he make it back? Oh, no! My oh my god! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> man. The runoff there. I want to think if he was thinking of doing that on purpose or not, or he meant to do something else. But yeah, and so low, despite losing game one, usually in these counter pick wars, that game one can be really crucial, yeah, yeah. you know. But low manages to uh, kind of win on his opponent's serve, his opponent's counter pick here. And now, there. even if he loses this, he gets one more game with the with the counter pick. That was a really good game for both players there. Good damage right here. Jaime is very good at uh, timing those down tilts mm. against the recovering Pika. So as Pika gets a lot of Falcons, if they're threatening to down tilt, you can just go anyway because the sure. timing is so difficult and they'll usually miss he it. He knows that timing. But Jaime is so good at it that you have to respect it. I yeah. see, sure. And so we see, you know, not been touched so far this game. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, good roll. Really excellent roll by Low there to avoid that shield pressure. Yeah, so I don't think anything would have come out of it, but still. One thing you can see from both these guys that you know, a lot of low level players don't have is when someone's shielding, they don't just hit their shield right away. They use the fact that their opponent's in shield as an opportunity to position themselves mm. and get the per perfect position to find some move that's going to be effective on shield. Sure. Both these guys do it really well. Wow. This match is looking totally different, but as you said, this, this matchup is just so high variance. Oh, it's so much variance. Calls out the jump. That's I know that Jaime feels trade. very comfortable with Falcon, so he's definitely playing the game that he feels most confident in right now. Yeah, the uh, the up smash at the ledge is a little risky because even if it trades, it's pretty it bad. Be a slug. Yeah. And that's true always. You know, Pika 30 to 40 percent. Yeah, that's neutral true. grab, up air, up B. It's pretty much a kill. Yeah, you see him wait there. Wow. That was such good shield pressure. Really good read by Low there. Ooh, but he messes up. He wanted to you get. Have to he go wanted to really get really deep, that. and it's scary. Ooh, that's a grab. Oh, nice. I Just mean, one stock behind. Definitely not impossible for Low to close this out. Both of them so careful. He's not just gonna run in after that up smash. Oh, Neither of them. Finds the Ooh, grab. America's no DI. He went for it this time. Wow, that takes it. That is Going awesome. to game five. And we all want to see a game five. We oh, like yeah. we like the way this oh, is yeah. out to be. And we have an interesting choice for he's gonna stay. So I think he Jaime will probably stay Falcon. So now he goes Kirby maybe. So the question is, do we go back to Fox or to Pika? Why not Kirby though? I don't think Low really plays Kirby. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I've never paper, really seen. I've never really seen. I've never really seen Low play play Kirby. Sure. This is still an interesting decision though because like he didn't win when he played Falcon, right? yeah. or when he played Fox. He won a game with Pika. He's yet to win a game with Fox. Still goes for it. Just shows his confidence in this matchup. Yeah, it's you know, and it is a good matchup for Fox. I mean, it's like you were saying, it's maybe not as good as his Pika, but it's as we're seeing right now, a lot of options here. Oh wow. Well, it's a. Uh, it's really a capable matchup, right? With the lasers and the edge play. Falcon doesn't have a lot of options in recovering. So I think as Fox oh, wow. here and, and for low in particular, you know, he it really shows that he's confident in his execution. Yes. Because you really really need to have good execution as Fox. It's something he's mentioned to me. Mm. But this is him saying, Okay, I'm, I, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna bet on my own execution and see if 
you know, see if I can do. I respect that, honestly, a lot. Oh my god. I'm not just gonna play this character, Pika, where, okay, you know, the floor is higher. Sure. I'm, I'm gonna go for it all and see if I can execute. And this is just such a close game, a close set. Both players are so neck and neck. It's so annoying as Falcon oh. to try and escape Fox's invincibility. And there's that just shut down, just laser in the face. Yeah, so there he took that stock basically entirely off the respawn invincibility. That's the second time. Oh no. You see that happen a couple times, low not going to edge, and then Jaime coming down quick to punish. Yeah, but he he was such low percent that he was able to he get away. He was able to get out, it. yeah. Oh my what gosh. The? Oh, look at these bears! So Reverse bear. Low really feeling himself. Ups three socks to one. I may just jump on Terrace. He manages to get that first stun. Both these guys playing fantastic. Oh, game one was so sloppy. This game, they're both on this point. Is so close. Can he just rinse it? Repeat. It? He can. Wow. Not enough to eye, and Low takes it. <laughs> fantastic insane. execution. So we're actually going to. This is gonna be grand. Play. We're gonna play this. Josh Brody. Yeah. That was game five. Super good game. I'm really glad we saw game five. I think everyone can agree on that. A lot of diversity in the matchups there. Saw some Pika Kirby, Fox Falcon. That was fun. Here we are in Grand Finals. Low coming from loser's side against Brody. Brody's playing out of his mind today. Yeah. He had a huge, I guess you could say upset really, against Jaime. Was down two games. Came back and took a reverse three games in a row. Wow. Yeah, I bet Jaime really to losers uh, earlier. Pretty impressive game. I don't know who would, whether or not that's considered an upset. Really? Okay. I, I don't know. I mean, they're both ranked very high. Sure. I personally put him in the lead here, but I know Huntsman had a video of a prediction that he he, he actually For this predicted Jaime was going to win this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 